So a friend of mine, Bud, known on the YouTubes as Feckless Man, sent me a Skype message today saying, man, I have this really good idea for a video, but I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it off. And he told me the idea, and I said, I'm going to steal that idea. And he said, cool. And then he didn't respond when I asked if I could really steal the idea. So I'm stealing it, and I hope that he's okay with it. <laughs> Every year after VidCon, it's kind of like the YouTube New Year. Everyone is always making all these resolutions, at least on Twitter and Facebook and whatnot. So he wanted to make a video in which he made it sort of official that the week after VidCon is New Year's and you make your YouTube New Year's resolutions. My YouTube New Year's resolution this year is to increase my subscriber count by maybe 2,000 or so, but I want to re-engage the subscribers that are here and I also want to increase the number of subscribers by at least 2,000 by the end of the year. I also want to make 50 new videos this year, 10 of which I want to be collaboration videos of some kind. So I want to either make it so that there's some kind of video response thing or actually go to a city where somebody is and actually collaborate with them. But 10 of the 50 that I make this year, I want to be some kind of collaboration. I also want to make at least 20 or 30 videos of my daughter on my second channel because I think that's really important. My generation's parents had pictures of us. Uh, their generation had pictures of them. We can have video of our children and it's ubiquitous and very easy to acquire and keep forever. It's not like a VHS tape which will deteriorate over time. So I think it's important to have video because you can understand the person's t uh, personality as they're growing up. You can see the traits that will stay with them forever. You know, when my daughter's 20, she can look back on, pi on video of her as a one-year-old and say, yeah, I still do that. So I think it's really important. I want to do at least 20 or 30 videos of my daughter on my second channel, which I've linked somewhere. For me, one of the best things about YouTube is comments and the interaction that I get with the community and the discussions that we have in the text boxes below. So my goal for this year is to keep at least the 15 to 20 percent comment to view ratio. That means for every 100 views I get, I get at least 15 to 20 comments on the video. So I don't really care about the views so much as I want more comments. I want more interaction between me and you and you and me. I also want more video responses. I don't know how I can facilitate that or I don't know how I can encourage more video responses, but that is certainly going to be something that I do all the time. I'm going to try and make content that will encourage discussion and video responses, and I will always leave video responses at least moderately open. I do watch every single video response if it's relevant to the video that it's responding to. I always, always, always post it, whether I like the content of the video or not. I always post if it's relevant to the content of the video. If it's not relevant, if it's just spam, I delete it. But otherwise, I do moderate every single video response. I also read every single comment. I still get the emails. So please, please, please interact with me. That's a goal, that's a big goal for this year. I really hope to have more interaction on my channel. My last goal is um, more businessy. I want to uh, get the brand of me together. I wanna have more consistency in the brand. So via Twitter and Facebook, and YouTube and Google Plus and all the different social media outlets that I have. I want to have a consistent brand over all channels and that's something that I'm kind of been working on, working towards. Uh, I'm working with a designer to get a new channel design uh, between this channel and my second channel which is mostly my daughter's channel um, as she's growing up. So I'm just working on consistency across the brand of the Me Fund. So now the next part is up to you either in video response, preferably, or in text comments below, tell me what your YouTube New Year's resolutions are. And we'll do this every single VidCon, every single week after VidCon. We're just gonna do a New Year's resolution. Uh, and we'll look back on resolutions we've made in the past, and we'll look forward to the next year. Uh, and New Year's itself, in you know, December, can be about personal stuff, but this is about your YouTube and your online life uh, goals for the next year. So let me know in the comments or in video response and I look forward to having a great conversation. See you later.